What's up, guys? It's Phil, and today is Saturday. The markets are closed, and I just want to show you where there are buying opportunities in the market, being that we had a recent sell-off, and a lot of things are at support levels, and we can get into the market. So let's get it started with an example with Apple. Apple recently sold off from its highs at 37-ish, 36, um, but you can see that it's also coming down to the support. So what you look at buying into a stock is you look for um, retest levels, as in where is the stock normally to bounce. So as you see back in the, um, August last year, the stock had a big run up all the way to almost 40 bucks, and then it came down. But now we look for where's the retest? Where did it have struggle at? It had a struggle right here. And let's um let's circle with these. It had a struggle here. Had a struggle here. Had a struggle here. Struggle here. And you can see right here had a struggle. Right here had a struggle because actually it bounced right here and right here. So you see these, that's where you should be looking at where the stock is indecisive. So now you draw your lines. So as you can see, it tested right here, it tested right here, it tested right here. So, okay, you had a two times of it tested as resistance and one time it tested as, as a holding of support. So now we just draw a line at 17. And your line at 17 is where the stock can bounce at. Not necessarily will will bounce there. It could definitely break through there. But that's where the stock can bounce at. And then now you see we have some right here. We have a peak, we have a hold of a hold of a support that was resistance, hold of support, and this is resistance. So now we draw a line right up here at 25. So now you got 25 and 117. And now you draw one last resistance to where the stock can break out of because we invest in, we're not day trading. Um, if you want to learn day trade, email me, DM me, and I will we'll work something out. But when it comes to investing, you really want to look at the overall of the company and where you look to buy in at. Um, it's never a wrong time to buy in, so you could buy in up here. But as long as you got enough capital to buy in down here, so you could bring that average down as you go well, because it's a solid company as long as it's a solid company then you can expect growth and you do your research you got to do your research in these stocks that's the only way the money will be coming in so you see take a dip and you have enough cash to support that ten dollar movement or twenty dollar movement so that's it for me guys this is an example of buying a dip with Phil, and I, I'll see you.